Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. And what a glamorous day it is today in Blackpool. We meant to be like this for the rest of the week. So that good thing, but we got the fireworks on Saturday. So at least we might have a bit of good weather and it'll draw more people down to Blackpool Promenade for the fireworks championship. So the sea is thin. But well, it is quite calm compared to what it had been like. Got north here just in the distance. And Blackpool Tower also. The Blackpool lads have left Blackpool. I know what you're all thinking. Oh, where's and gone? and coming back. But don't worry, it will be returning on Saturday. Um, I don't know if I told anyone where we've gone, so I don't really want to be spoiled in it. Don't care if I've got like a big video idea to refuel it. Well, let's just say we've gone six hours up the road. Compared to everyone all gone back to school and the um, season is all over with, like with like the six weeks holidays and stuff. We do have quite a couple of people out enjoying this sunny weather today in Blackpool. I'm just enjoying a nice walk. Personally, I've been kind of a bit too wrapped up for this weather, but I do burn. Any bit of sun, that's it, I burn. I don't know if there's anyone else like that, but yeah, I do not tan at all. I got to admit, this is one of my favourite looking lights here in Blackpool at the minute. Don't know, it's just different, unique, and I do like it. Nice little feature here in Blackpool. So it all blocked off for you so far. And it looked like they got the swivel lights, the one what you just walk through, and you got like the big baubles I'll call them lights so far so they're getting ready for Christmas already so they're getting all these ready for light pool or something in October so there you go all this is getting ready for the light pool Something what you have noticed, you don't really have that many horse and carts out today. Only seen two. And I was speaking to the person who put the, um, the lights and things up there. Then, then hire them out for different towns also to use them. So they don't only get used in Blackpool. Then they were telling me about the Luma Racing's. Then changed all the bulbs or something to a low wattage. So it's not be costing £80,000, it only costs 40 You learn something new every day. I never knew that. So they're just coming up to Central Pier now. And this side of town ain't looking too busy. Up near the Aussie Sea, I think you, is that how you say it? Of course, we got your bubble tea and happy days. Also, a Hug tight at ice cream hey, place to see us right, there, right across the road from Central Pier. You got like different types of shops and arcades down the promenade. You got a lot of donut shops, ice cream shops, your fish and chips type of shops, and also different types of arcades. I'll tell you something, sometimes you, it's both for choice on which one you go to. So we got like um, a sat sum only for four pound here at Funland. Then of course you got your sea life centre, the other type of donut shop. Yeah, you also got your sea life centre just right here, and you're the Buffalo and Friends. Clubhouse. Right, I think I don't have a little wander through the town area to see what is happening in town. There were a lot, but not a lot happening on the promenade today. 
but maybe at the end of the week, maybe Friday, might get a bit more busier. Fancy watching a movie when you're out in the Blackpool Town Centre. Why don't you watch it on an IMAX screen down at the Black, the Backlot Cinema slash Diner? Well, good thing about this cinema, you come here, you can grab a bite to eat in the Downer selection while you go and wait for your movie to start, or you could have something to eat after your movie. Either way, you got the newest IMAX screen cinema here in Blackpool, just right behind Hans Hill. So why don't you not come and treat yourself? And here we got the Tower Fisheries. I do believe so, this is up for sale. One of the cheapest chippies in Blackpool. And very highly rated by a lot of people. Be sad to see it go or change ownership. We got the, like the new government building. Look like the building on wall, and that probably might be the main entrance for the wooden bosses. I could be wrong. Look like a pavement and everything all getting built out. Yeah, I haven't really took them that long, really, to build it. And quite a few months back, there were some sort of fire, I believe so, in, in this building. Don't know the course of that. So I think it were a baller, but I'm just assuming now, so don't take my word for it. Here is the new tram station. What is been putting out some kind of car park or something here at the side? I ain't too sure. You also got the new Holiday Inn and the Greggs over there now. You can also get to the train station that way also underneath the t underneath and up. It used to be open ages ago, that type of walkway, and then they blocked it off and now they seem to reopen it. Right then guys, if you did enjoy this type of walk around, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, then please turn that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one.